Okay guys, so this message isn't for everyone, but for some people, you know, you need to hear this. Uh, you, if you don't believe anything, if you feel angry all the time, if you feel like you're probably going to end up in jail or something. If you are the type of person who gets revenge whenever someone's wronged you, you're on a path to destruction. Where you're going is not a good de destination. I used to hold grudges too. That was until I got saved. I learned about God from the 700 Club on TV. And there was a prayer of salvation. They said God did miracles. He healed people. He restored people. He healed people's anger. And that if you hold grudges, you won't be forgiven for your sins if you don't forgive others, that you won't be forgiven for your sins. So, uh, and I know I had a controlling family. They try to define what forgiveness means. They thought forgiveness means you do what others say and spend time with them, and that's not forgiveness. Forgiveness is when you don't take revenge, when you don't need an apology, you just know that you're not going to try to make them pay for what they did. That is one of the hardest things because I lived in a family that provoked me to anger just all the time. You know how narcissism is? Well, that was, that was uh, what I was growing up around. So I started believing and believing in Jesus has changed my life. I have avoided all kinds of evils. I have uh, found peace. Um, there has been some persecution because people don't understand who God is and they think that if you're a Christian you're a hateful, uh, racist or um, sexist person, which is not at all what God intended because he made everyone. Black, white, fat, skinny, yeah, um, so I have been healed of many things, sicknesses and things. I have uh, received mercy when I could have gotten into trouble. I want that for you too, and all you have to do is believe God exists. Believe he sent Jesus to die on the cross for your sins. And know that if you have broken any of the Ten Commandments, which all of us have, then that does make you worthy of a punishment. That Jesus took the punishment. And you can be justified by faith in him. If you just believe. If you say the prayer of salvation, you will be saved and your life is going to change. After being saved, out of gratefulness, we do good works like give to the poor, um, sometimes give to the church, tithing, uh, we read the Bible, and we fellowship one another and be friendly, and of course not taking revenge. Um, this is... This is the way, the basis. There's all kinds of things that you could learn and things I can't tell you, only God can tell you about certain situations in your life, like your decisions. Uh, God could help you find the love of your life. He could help you avoid an enemy. He parted the Red Sea for the Israelites to get away from the Egyptians. 
So I am very confident that he will change your life. I'm so glad that you heard this message. If you want to know more about God, read the Bible or uh, watch Seven Hundred Club or um, visit uh, Sam Swag Ministries. Um, you could also watch The Rock Church on YouTube, The Rock Church. On there, sometimes they promote fasting. If that is something you're interested in, they will tell you about it. I am so excited that you heard this, and if you made it this far, I'm very proud of you. Um, I am hoping so much that you will get baptized after believing and that you will be filled with the Holy Spirit and no demonic influence will be able to overtake you and that you'll be healed from any addictions that you might have. Thanks for watching. Bye.